what is going on everybody dj minds here all right guys so ethereum that's what we're talking about today and then towards the end of the video i'm also going to be talking about cadena i'm going to talk about flux some altcoins and then finally my flux project the business that we're we are working on for selling flux nodes is almost live so anyways guys ethereum firstly and the only thing that i ask from you guys please like this video if you like it consider subscribing and watch the video its entirety if you are going to disagree that's totally understandable but at least watch the whole video so that way you really understand my arguments and my viewpoints on the topic. So Ethereum, I know a lot of people like to meme on Ethereum, including myself. I do it all the time. You know, I've had live streams where I took the Ethereum flag and, and stabbed it with a sword just for fun, right? So it is fun to poke at Ethereum. However, guys, if you really think about it and you be mature about this and you say, what is the bigger picture here, man? It is the survivability of proof of work and keeping proof of work in the mainstream. And whether you like it or not, Ethereum is by far the most mainstream proof of work coin that we have. Now, of course, it is going proof of stake, right? So do you want it to be successful or not? In my opinion, you should want it to be successful. Why? So the first point is high tide raises ships, raises all ships. So the same way that Bitcoin has raised all the other altcoins, right? Something crazy is going on with Bitcoin or some massive investor gets involved in Bitcoin. Naturally, Ethereum would rise and then it would rise Ravencoin and Flux and really everything that you can think of. That's what we've been seeing in a lot of these bull runs. So do we want Ethereum to raise everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, guys. We're going to need it. We're going to need every little bit of help that we can. Why? Because proof of work, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it on a personal level or not, is not a good seller. I'm sorry, but it's just not, right? If you check out a lot of these finance websites, a lot of these finance media, I know it's not the best thing to watch, but what a lot of these investors are talking about is how they want green energy. They want to invest in proof of stake because they like the fact that there's no proof of work. Now, yes, there is a lot of proof of work on green energy, but you have to understand there is a stigma behind proof of work. So we need this to go well, right? And yes, it will go well for proof of stake and it kind of makes proof of work not as important in the media's eyes however what if one of these coins right what if the media says wow this went well with ethereum what will the next big coin be right and so these investors start to get interested they start to look at the fluxes and the ergos of the world they start to look at maybe not neoxa but hey you never know it could be neoxa or whatever your favorite coin is let me know in the comment section below what the next big coin is in your opinion etc ethereum classic whatever it is right so i do suggest or i i do think that Yes, you may have like this personal vendetta against Ethereum. Of course, I do as well. But you know what I like more than a personal vendetta? Money. I like money. And we need lots of money to come into the next proof of work project. So that way, the next investor says, wow, this is the next big coin. This is the next big thing. I want to get in on it when it's a dollar. I want to get in on Ergo when it's a couple bucks. You see what I'm saying? So hopefully that does make sense. We are going into what I call the next stage of proof of work, right? That's kind of obvious. Ethereum has been king for quite some time, and there's a lot of worry in the world right now. Everybody's scared, and the people that aren't scared, hey, bravo to you. I certainly am concerned. Any time that my family and I are going to lose literally thousands of dollars in a month, that is a big deal, right? I only make so much money in a month, so to lose you know, potentially a third of my income overnight, just like that, potentially is a really big deal for me. So on a personal level, it matters to me. I'm not just, you know, I'm pretty heavily invested in this. I'm almost at 10 giga hash guys, almost 10 giga hash just on Ethereum. So, you know, that's a big investment for myself. This is life changing money. And so that's starting to get messed with. So the next stage of proof of work is the dark age is the ice age. What will be the next big thing? People are going to be selling off their graphics cards. People are going to be panicking. And so we have to survive through this. And so it, just like how Terra Luna was a huge black eye for the crypto world, I know people at work and people I see outside that know nothing really about crypto, but they say, crypto, you talk about that, uh, that scam. And I'm like, oh, you're talking about Luna. They're like, yeah, yeah. Didn't Luna like it scammed everything, right? This is what people hear, right? And so you have to get those kind of people involved in cryptocurrency. You have to get these kind of people using Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever it might be, right? So you need those people. It's not just the nerds like you and I, the people that watch YouTube. We're not really, I mean, we're going to be in this regardless, right? But you have to get little Timmy out there interested in crypto. And so when they start hearing a lot of these negative vibes, like, oh, it didn't work out, or it's a scam, or they start hearing these bad things, if Ethereum just shits the bed, right? If Ethereum just, you know, the proof of stake just goes terribly, uh, that's really bad for all of us, whether you like it or not. Now, I'm not saying years from now, it would never recover and proof of work would just go away or anything. I'm definitely not saying that that's what would happen, but it would take a lot more time. Instead, if Ethereum does well, 
then we'll all get excited. And like I said, I really think that other coins will do well just naturally. That's just how it'll be. There'll be a new king, whoever that will be, or whatever coin that will be. Hell, it could be a brand new coin that we don't even know about. And that's really exciting. So we should all want this to do well, especially for the next stage of proof of work. So the next one, investors. We kind of already touched on this a little bit, but the people that raise the coin price aren't going to be you and I, right? It's not going to be necessarily the users unless the users are just ball and rich and they feel like investing a lot. No, man, it's not going to be them. It's going to be the hedge funds, right? It's going to be the investors. Those are the people that will carry us to that next level that raise the price from a dollar to a dollar fifty to two dollars to five dollars, right? That's the money that we need. And unless, like I said, you just find some random oil prints, right? That's out there. And he just really believes in a project. We need them. It's just so crucial to the environment proof of work to the, to cryptocurrency as a whole we have to have somebody major some major players some whales to come in and raise that price and the only way they're going to do that if it looks interesting and they think that this is a good idea for future to 5x to 10x now the next thing i want to talk about is cadena now i used to say cadena you can correct me if you think that's incorrect so this is something that i'm interested in buying and i actually did just buy this yesterday and why did i buy cadena i honestly don't want to spend the money on an asic for cadena but look at this chart guys this is where we are approximately right here wow boss coin actually mentioned this and it really had me going so shout out to boss coin on that he actually made a video that was pretty interesting if you look at its all-time high for cadena right and this is just last year 22 dollars okay and then, I mean, look over here, $15 and such. But if you look really closely, what do you see? There's really nowhere else for Cadena to go down. Could it drop, a, you know, a little bit more? Absolutely, it really could. So I do think there is a small marginal amount of risk, but overall, I mean, even if it just shoots up to here, guys, two bucks, five bucks, you know, this old level, $6. We're talking about a massive, massive gain and i think over time cadena you know in the next six months to a year whenever the next bull run is it could be two years i don't know i think that this is an easy 5x money easy 5x that's not financial advice this is just my personal opinion but again j just look at it like where else could it go down unless it's going out of business right unless the coin just all of a sudden goes out of business even if you just hit this level here which is a hundred percent likely in my opinion six dollars guys we're at around what a dollar sixty right now somewhere in that ballpark you will easily get a lot of your money back in my personal opinion not financial advice but i do think cadena not buying the asics but buying the coin right now for me makes so much sense and i really think i'm gonna look back on this video and be like wow i just three to five x my money and i think a three to five x to be honest with you is really conservative on my end but i don't want to say it's gonna be a 10 to 20 x but i wouldn't be surprised if it was so coming over to trade ogre i just want to show you my money is where my mouth is i actually transferred in bitcoin some of my bitcoin that i've been mining with my gpus and it's around 500 dollars worth because it's kind of a weird website here you can see me buying the cadena you have to like transfer from btc to cadena so i don't know i'm not too familiar with trade ogre i just found out that this is one of the websites that i could buy it and i'm trying to get about 500 dollars worth at this current moment and then i do plan on getting another 500 dollars worth. so just kind of dollar cost average just in case you know we go from this dollar 60 level to maybe a dollar 50 or a dollar 40 i just want to make sure that i am in dollar cost averaging into it you know if you had ten thousand dollars you wouldn't want to invest all ten thousand dollars at one time maybe two thousand dollars here another two thousand dollars next week so that's what i'm kind of doing but i'm very interested in cadena and uh, let me know if i'm saying that right because a lot of people say it's cadena but i always said cadena so i don't really know 100 percent on that so now that Ethereum is going away, it's already kind of in the back of my mind. I'm like, let's just push this out the way. Let's explore with other things. And so now I started mining Flux. Here is one of my rigs. It's it's just a 3090, but it's getting almost 99 souls. So basically 99 souls, zero core, zero memory. I haven't even touched it at all. I For Flux, I usually just leave zero, zero. Could I get a little bit better? Absolutely. I could probably drop the wattage a little bit. There's one. And then I have another rig over here where I'm experimenting with a little bit of Flux here. It's not doing much. You know, this 2080 Super. God, I wish this was a 2080 Ti. Zero, zero, 140 watts. I mean, I can get this baby up to 60, but uh, I don't know. It's getting really warm in that room. And here's my 84,000 burning up like they always do. So, yeah, I got all those on, you know, this flux. I'm experimenting. I'm starting to look around at Ergo. So I'm really interested in diversifying at this current moment. While other people are like, I want to get as much Ethereum as I possibly can before the merge. I already have a lot of Ethereum or a decent bit of Ethereum where I feel like, you know, that's good 
good enough for me. So now I want to start looking at these other coins because once the theorem goes away, man, it's going to be very, very difficult to get a good yield on that. The hash rates are probably going to 5, 10, 20x on a lot of these coins. So you're not going to get a lot of those coins. So while other people are so focused on Ethereum for this last month, I definitely am starting to look at other projects, experiment around and look at other things. And then finally, to talk about our Flux business. I don't know if I mentioned this in a video yet. I know that I did on a live stream once or twice. We got all the nodes in. I'm really excited. Yesterday, I had an awesome stream planned for you guys. I had all the Flux nodes laid out. I was going to upload our program on it and everything. And then I realized I didn't have the HDMI to one of the display ports that I need. So I'm going to go to Best Buy to buy that. And so we might live stream showing you guys the process of, of how we're doing Doing this and uh, maybe I'll just do a live stream showing you the node progress. That'd be day zero. And then once my 25 are up, my business partner already has his 25 up. We're putting it on the website. The website will be disclosed when everything's up and running because I'm pretty positive what's going to happen since we only have 50 of these at the current moment. This is like our pilot for the website. They're going to sell out probably within like five to 10 minutes. And so that's why I don't want to put it on the website or tell you guys the website at this current moment because they're going to be sold out instantly. So we want to be 100% ready to ship everything boxed up, ready to go before that. Really exciting, man. Uh, please understand if you do get involved with our business, it's brand new. It's just two of the YouTubers. We're trying our best. And then if this goes well, awesome. If it doesn't, that's cool too. But we, we're going to try it out. We're going to start with this batch of 50. And then hopefully that'll give us enough money to buy the next 75 to 100 of these Flux nodes. And then maybe we can go to you know more and more. So we'll take that day by day. I love every single one of you. If you made it to this part in the video, please do put in hashtag node or hashtag Flux node, whatever you want to put, whatever your favorite coin is node. All right. So I love every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching this video while I'm moving to the new home. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. DJ Minds signing out.